Are NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams stranded in space? The answer is going to make some people mad. Before we start, I do not work at NASA, Boeing, or SpaceX. I'm not an astronaut. I'm simply reporting on what's going on. I have no stake in the game. I'm only sharing facts, and I'm going to be providing receipts the entire time. Before you get mad at me in the comments, please remember that. On June 5th, 2025, Williams and Wilmore launched to the International Space Station on Boeing's Starliner spacecraft from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Starliner was developed as part of NASA's commercial crew program, NASA's effort to partner with private companies for crewed space missions. This is also the program under which SpaceX flies to the ISS. In 2019, Boeing did a test flight of their Starliner spacecraft without astronauts, which ended in a failure. They had a bunch of problems and made a bunch of fixes and tried again without astronauts in 2022 and it went well. It docked with the ISS and it made a safe return. So in June 2024, NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams boarded the Starliner spacecraft and launched to the International Space Station. They were scheduled for a 10-day mission. For some background, these are two highly trained professional astronauts. Butch Wilmore is a United States Navy test pilot. He completed four operational deployments and has over 8,000 hours of tactical jet flight time. He also completed 21 combat missions during Operation Desert Storm. He became an astronaut in the year 2000 and trained for nine years before going to space. He has flown to space on the space shuttle and the Russian Soyuz spacecraft before this. In total, he had spent 177 days in space before this mission began. That's a long time. Sunita Williams, who goes by Sunny, is a retired U.S. Navy officer. She is one of the most experienced astronauts of all time. Before this mission, she had spent 317 days in space, including being the commander of the International Space Station. So these are genuinely the two best people for the job, and both of them have done long-haul space flights before this. So in June, the Boeing Starliner spacecraft successfully docked with the ISS and the astronauts boarded it, joining NASA astronauts who were already there, SpaceX's Crew-8 astronauts. However, as it was docking, five of the Starliner capsule's thrusters malfunctioned as it docked with the ISS, and five separate helium leaks were detected in the service module. So they spent the next couple of months doing tests on this capsule as it was docked to try to figure out what was wrong and if they could fix it. But NASA was unwilling to repeat old mistakes and basically said that they didn't feel confident enough in the Starliner spacecraft to bring their astronauts back to Earth. In the meantime, SpaceX modified its capsule because remember, they had brought astronauts to the ISS as well. So they cleared out room for Butch and Sunny to join their astronauts on a flight home if there was an emergency. When the Starliner spacecraft was deemed unfit to bring Butch and Sunny home, NASA contracted SpaceX to bring them back on their next mission. That's really cool of SpaceX to do. So to prepare, they detached the empty Starliner spacecraft on September 7th, 2024 and brought it back to Earth. It landed completely safely and the astronauts would have been fine, but it was simply not worth the risk and it was the right call. So what that meant was SpaceX Crew 9 bumped two astronauts off their mission. This was a pre-planned mission meant to be six months long. So the solution was for Butch and Sonny to replace the two astronauts that were bumped off the mission and fully join and complete the scheduled science and return home with the two astronauts that did join them on the ISS. So this was confirmed. Crew 9 launched to the ISS on September 28, 2024. This is incredibly important. At this point, starting in September 2024, the capsule that is going to bring home those stranded astronauts has been docked to the ISS. That is the capsule they're going home on. There isn't another rescue capsule going up. And for a month, there were two SpaceX capsules docked to the ISS. Crew 8 departed and landed safely in late October. So now what we have is SpaceX Crew 9. This, again, was a planned mission for six months. That's what they're doing. Six months from the end of September is the end of March. That is when they are and have been scheduled to come home. They can come home as soon as SpaceX brings up their next capsule full of NASA astronauts. They'll replace Crew-9. That will be Crew-10. Crew-10 is not ready because SpaceX doesn't have a spacecraft ready. 
when they have one, they can launch it. They had some ambitious plans and they're moving things around to meet that original schedule. So what's the controversy? Elon Musk, who is the head of SpaceX, is now saying publicly that President Trump has requested the astronauts come home. He's saying that the former administration stranded those astronauts in space. You're committed to re rescue, you're gonna help rescue next month two astronauts that I think were men, and they, they dispute that in an interview. When at the, at the, at when the, at the president's re request we, we, or instruction, we uh, are accelerating the return of the astronauts, uh, which was postponed kind of to a ridiculous degree. They um, got left in space. They, they've been there, they were supposed it's, to be there eight days, they're there almost 300. Biden. They were put, yeah. yes, they were left up there for political reasons, which is not good. That is not true. They are not speeding up the timeline at all. They are following the exact same timeline as was established in August and September with minor delays caused by SpaceX not being ready to launch another spacecraft. That's normal. Launching any spacecraft is hard and normally there aren't as many eyes on these launches. But like, this was the plan. It was the best plan. It made complete sense for these seasoned astronauts to join this long haul mission, which they've both done before. Does it suck? Yeah. They both miss their families but they are professional astronauts who have repeatedly said that they are fine. And it's honestly kind of weird that we're telling these astronauts that they're not fine. I'm not sure why we're underestimating them. Last week, President Trump said you and Butch Wilmore, who is your Starliner uh, crewmate, had been virtually abandoned. Do you feel abandoned up there, Commander? No, I, I don't think those words are quite accurate. You know, we're part of, a, of something bigger than ourselves. We're part of the International Space Station. So, no, we're, we don't feel abandoned. We feel like we're part of the team, and that's a, a huge honor. So to, to, to think of you as being stuck up there or abandoned, does that basically misunderstand the role of an astronaut? I would say that's absolutely true. You know, I don't think I'm abandoned. I don't think we're stuck up here. We've got food. We've got clothes. We have a ride home in case anything really bad does happen to the International Space Station. I think that we can all have immense sympathy for these astronauts while also believing them when they're telling us that they're okay. People don't like to hear this, but many people have spent longer in space. This just sucks because it was a surprise to them. People are also saying that NASA abandoned these astronauts in space and that we should defund NASA and NASA can't do anything, but this is also inaccurate since Boeing and SpaceX are both contracted under NASA. If you're gonna say that NASA abandoned them with Boeing, you have to keep that same energy with NASA saving them with SpaceX. Although I don't think either of those sentences are accurate. Neither spacecraft is from NASA. The astronauts, those are from NASA and they're doing a spectacular job. Elon then posted on X, addressing a former astronaut, former commander of the space station, and SpaceX Dragon pilot after he corrected Elon and said, you are fully <laughs> SpaceX could have brought them back several months ago. I offered this directly to the Biden administration and they refused. Return was pushed back for political reasons. Idiot. Elon is claiming that he offered to send a special capsule up to get these astronauts, but was declined. I don't know if that's true, but I would also decline it because the current plan is the right call. A special capsule would potentially be up to $200 million. And also they don't have one ready. I don't know why we would waste taxpayer money in that way when this really isn't an absurd amount of time for an astronaut to spend in space. This is their job, it's just, this is a really hard part of it. Anyway, they're not stuck. The capsule they're returning home on is currently docked to the ISS and has been since September. They could go get in it, but they won't because they're completing their new mission and Crew 10 hasn't launched. If they wanted to save the astronauts, they could speed up the launch of Crew 10, but the ISS schedule and astronaut rotation is pretty fragile and it just makes more sense to stick to the plan. And they're not speeding it up anyway, contrary to what they want you to believe. So what happens next? I'll tell you. Butch and Sunny are going to come home in late March with the other two Crew 9 astronauts. It's gonna be amazing. They're coming home on the capsule that is currently docked. Elon Musk and President Trump are going to claim that they rescued them. In some ways, for SpaceX, that's true. They provided them a safe way home when they weren't sure they had one. But just so we're all clear and we're all on the same page, that way home 
was secured in mid-August, and that plan has not changed in any way other than some minor regular delays. Another thing that's going to happen is that Butch and Sonny probably aren't going to be able to walk. This happens to most astronauts after long-haul trips to space. That's why they're usually carried when they're back on Earth. They'll be fine, they just have to get used to walking again. But of course, people are gonna go crazy with that. They're gonna say, look what they've done to the astronauts. They stranded them in space and now they can't walk. They're never gonna be better. No, this is normal. Just prepare, that's what's gonna happen. Oh, and now, with all these people correcting Elon Musk, he's claiming he wants to bring down the ISS early. So who knows? Moral of the story, those astronauts didn't have a super guaranteed safe ride home from June to September. They had options. They weren't good options. SpaceX was generous in offering those two spots to Butch and Sunny. They made that plan and they're doing it. They're still not changing it. The capsule that's bringing them home is already on the ISS. They could come home now. They just wouldn't have a replacement, which is not good. All the astronauts are fine. Anything else you hear is people being really dramatic. That's all. I'm sure a lot of you are fighting me in the comments already, but thankfully, I'm just a messenger and none of this is my fault. Earthlings and aliens, thank you so much for joining me in this video and I hope to see you in the next one.